Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Node-RED tutorial. Today we have an interesting flow to explore designed for monitoring CPU utilization. In this flow, we will break down each component and understand how it works together to create a comprehensive CPU monitoring dashboard. Let's dive in. So our first node labeled as CPU, it's a CPU monitoring node. It's a configured to receive data every 15 seconds from an inject node. The CPU node then processes this data and sends it to various outputs. These outputs include a debug node for troubleshooting, a line chart for visualizing CPU trends, and four UI GUACH nodes to display the utilized of individual CPU cores. Next, in our flow, we have an inject node set to trigger every 15 seconds. These nodes act as a periodic data source simulating CPU utilization updates. It sends a timestamp to the CPU monitoring node, initializing the monitoring process. Node 3 to 7 handle the display aspects of our flow. We have a debug node for troubleshooting, a line chart node for visualizing CPU trends, and four UI gauge nodes. Each represents a different CPU core. These components help us to keep track of CPU utilization and diagnose any issue that may arise. Switch node for CPU cores. The switch node labeled CPU 1 to 4 is a crucial component. It routes the CPU data to the corresponding UI gauge node based on the core number. The dynamic routing ensures that each core CPU utilized is accurately represented on the dashboard. We have a UI test node configured to display an alert in CPU utilization exceeds 75%. This node monitors the CPU data and triggers an alert messages when needed, keeping user informed about critical CPU conditions. The second switch node checks if the CPU utilization is greater than 75%. If it's true, it generates an alert message using a change node. The message in that displayed as a toast notification on the dashboard warning users about this high CPU usage. Bypass function. Here we have a function node named bypass. This node checks a global variable to determine if the dashboard should be bypassed. If it is bypassed, it's true. Then CPU monitoring node is skipped, allowing for easy control of the flow. Global variable function. The global variable function nodes updates the global variable dashboard with the payload from the UI switch. This allows user to toggle the entire dashboard on or off, providing a convention way to control the monitoring process. And there you have it. This node red flow offers a comprehensive CPU monitoring solution, complete with visualization, alerts, and toggling feature. Understanding each node's functionality is a key to customizing and expanding the flow for your specific needs. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave the comment below. Thanks for watching and happy coding.